Okay, this is Charu Das, and this is my good friend Giri, who's been taking good care of me while I've been in Pune. And we've got Umesh behind the camera there to give a general impression of this crowd and these festivities which are happening on this day of Nityananda's appearance day. The temple anticipates about 5,000 people to be here this evening, and they're already starting to pour in the front gate. And he'll be uh, filming little snippets of a drama of my PowerPoint later on to the crowd. And pretty soon now, we're going to start a bathing ceremony with the deities.
に自分とも幸せを知る死ぬってあんたもですわ声が今に当たった今に当たったこういう意味で今に当たった Lord Vijayananda hasn't come to give you that happiness which is freely available to the hogs and the dogs. The only problem with the realization that you're Brahman is that without engagements, you get bored. So Lord Nityananda gives us that Ananda Moya, that highest level of personal transcendental relational happiness which is eternal. For Bhaktivinda, we go to Krishna through Lord Nityananda and in doing so, by first chanting the names of Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya, they excuse us of any offense that we might have committed and they take us by the hand to the Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Ram, 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 Hare Hare. In one song that Narottam Das Thakur sings about Lord Nityananda, so Narottam Das Thakur Ji, he says you can't go to Vrindavan by buying a ticket. There will be cows. And the gopis are still there crying out Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. But we don't see that when we buy a ticket and go on the train. Because the way to see the real Vrindavan is to take the dust of the great saints and sages like Lord Nityananda and put it on our head first. 